What's up everyone? I'm wrapping up another weekend at the ranch building fence. And I have a project I wanted to share with you, but first it would be greatly appreciated if you would hit the subscribe button and like the video. Well, this is what I wanted to share. This is my homemade barbed wire unroller. The frame, I used a two by two square tubing. I think it was 11 gauge. I used sheet metal on the floor. I think that might have been 14 gauge. And originally, I had planned on putting these bars that you see directly over the axles, but I thought it'd be nice to add a little area for extra tools. T-post, clips, come along, whatever else you might need building fence. The axle and the springs came from a 16-foot trailer I have. The axle is actually slightly bent, not something I want to pull down the road. But it works great for this. As you can see, mix match tires and wheels off old trailers. This one's pretty bald. This one was kind of messed up. You may not can see it from the bent axle, but running around out here on the dirt works great for that. And to keep metal from metal turning and screeching the whole time I'm trying to work, I built these little plywood bushings. Works great. Gives it just enough friction to where the wire doesn't start spinning and just kind of spool out and cause a big mess. The bar is 7 8 inch, just solid steel bar. I uh, didn't know how it would work. How strong these would need to be, but man, this thing worked great yesterday. For the bar, there's a brace, a two by two brace that runs directly under them. I drilled a hole through it, put the bar through, and get the weld on the bottom and the top to add a little bit more strength. For whatever reason, I added this little receiver slide in at the last minute and actually used it yesterday. I was all hooked up, loaded down, didn't want to unhook it, wrapped a chain around it and drug some junk out of the way that I needed to move. I made the tongue just long enough so I can back up on my Can-Am and it won't jack enough. If you want to see the bottom, It's just a two by two inch tubing frame and I've added two braces in the middle just to give the sheet metal a little something to sit on top of. And I welded the tongue in in two places. And I'm not a professional welder, don't claim to be, but I've never had a weld break. So there it is. Before I was um, using the a single wire unroller that you slide into your receiver hitch. And when you get on these long stretches, a fence, this was about 1,300 feet. I was wasting a lot of time going back and forth, back and forth. And I will say that this did speed it up. I still run one wire in the beginning. Here's a good example. run the one wire so I use that as a guide to put my t-post in a straight line and I'm about to run the other four wires so let's get this thing loaded up and let you see how it works okay I'm all tied off ready to unroll these Let's go and see how this works.
that's it. It looks like I had one wire cross. That hasn't happened before. You may have seen there was a big hole I had to drive around. If you go in a straight line, that usually doesn't happen. As you can see, once you get away from where you tie it off, the wire lays out on the ground on four nice even rows. It's worked out great for me. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.